Quite a few years ago, um, when uh, Robert saw Willard Wiggins' work on the internet, so a sculptor creating his own uh, his own works of art in the framework of the eye of a needle or to fit on the head of a pin was something which was just uh, seemed so extraordinary that for Robert and myself we wanted to learn more, we wanted to study and understand more, and so. There was a, a meeting with, uh, with Robert and Willard Wigan, and from Willard's side, he had not really uh, ever thought much about uh, the whole approach of watchmaking. But very, very quickly, in a very short time, in a number of uh, uh, hours, that uh, there was something to explore each respective discipline. And so this was, uh, we decided to, uh, to invite Willard to join us on this adventure. Willard's works of art were usually displayed in a microscope, binocular microscope, some 40 centimetres tall. And so to get the optical magnification of 20 times, this was a big challenge. To, to be able to showcase one of Willard's sculptures inside the size of a timepiece was going to be a big challenge. We approached some optics experts who said that it would be impossible to reduce the complex optical system of a microscope binocular to be able to see this with the naked eye inside the size of a wristwatch case. And yet we thought that impossible, what's impossible? What, is, what does impossible mean? And that's when it started to interest us. Because when something is impossible, is it, uh, is it because we are out of step with technology? Is it because we don't understand? Uh, have we overlooked something? And so in our in-house team we have a physicist. We asked him to study his optics coursework again, and to explain to us step by step which, which were, what were the difficulties. And so as we gradually started to unravel this, um, we felt there were certainly avenues which we could explore. It took two years, but finally we managed to obtain a miniaturized optical system which was adjustable for the focal length, which we would be able to hopefully then uh, construct into uh, a complete timepiece showcasing the contemporary artist's work and our watchmaker's art as well. So the, the fruit of the work was that we managed to incorporate a miniaturized uh, rotary optical system inside the, the volume of the case. And so this was a fantastic step forward for us. The possibility to create with a collector a completely unique timepiece and a creation uh, featuring a theme or a subject uh, which they would, uh, they would have in their mind and then to elaborate that with the contemporary artist uh, Willard Wigan with his own original uh, creation and artistic uh, interpretation of that theme. I think it's, it's always a bit difficult to pinpoint one element um, you know, what we can say is, uh, I think for Robert, uh, certainly um, his inspirations are often in, uh, in the countryside, in nature, um, and the environment around. Uh, surely also there are some artists. Over the last uh, few years we've, uh, we've been able to meet a number of contemporary artists and some of their work is uh, really, really interesting. We've uh, had some very interesting uh, exchanges with them on their approach, and their, their work. For myself, uh, I'm working more on the technical side for Global Forcing. And uh, on my side, I have inspiration from mechanics, from historic cars, which I grew up with, which is always uh, interesting. But um, they're also, I think, in terms of architecture. We talked earlier about uh, in terms of creation, the, the finished article. And uh, I think we see in many areas in terms of design, industrial design, architecture, nature, there are forms which uh, the final, the final finished, finished object, which has a sort of a, a symmetry, a harmony, which is very difficult to pinpoint. And often we might think it was just a, a 
piece of luck or you know somebody who's just talented but often there's a there's a whole process of research to get to that that finished uh, that finished object which we always find uh, refreshing and pleasing and so these are these are sources of inspiration and i think also the the angle to to always want to go further you know to seek perfection and pursue that uh, and to not compromise on the way this is a this is a very important uh, sort of guiding guiding force which uh, helps to steer us